Hey guys, Vigaman here and welcome back to Let's Build Clips It. How are you guys doing today? I do hope that you are feeling fine. We are back with another episode building a few more residential houses in the downtown area of Clipster, which is something that I will try to do in between some of the bigger projects of the town here. Because uh, I want to try to get the castle done and all of some of the manors and stuff, but I also want to squeeze in a little bit of residential to kind of mix it up a little bit. So today we're building four new houses, which is going to be great. We are on a new version of the Conquest Reforged mods. There's been a lot of issues with both my own mods. So you'll see that during this time lapse, some of the clips are just messed up and I just cut them up uh, from the whole time lapse. So the whole second build is not possible to watch. And the third build, the, the whole last build is not possible to watch. And the third build, um, the time of that is kind of just half because of the mods messing up from the new app. They're still working on fixing that up. And also the server has been back and forth um this whole week now so it's been a little bit of an issue but i don't blame anyone it's a mod it's a massive and impressive mod and i just i'm so glad that i can be able to play here both on a server and with this mod pack together with all of you guys so I, i'm not complaining about anything i totally understand all the issues that we have so yeah you just kind of have to bear with it and just be patient i guess uh the, the four buildings we're building today is uh, a small fruit and, and vegetable seller we have another blacksmith another uh leather worker and a stonemason so it's going to be a lot of fun i don't think we have any stonemasons yet in this town this is a brand new profession for uh, uh for clips that just being added here that's a lot of fun and uh, going with the same basic style basically that we have done with all the other buildings here but i i think it looks cool i think it turned out pretty good so that is a lot of fun guys i just want to mention that i have created a discord server where you guys can come on tune in chat with me chat with other people in the community here and just hang out have a lot of fun and get to know each other share some memes share some videos i have an old an old section just where you can show your videos to me and to the other people here so that i can I can help you out, you can help me out, uh, we can share pictures, inspiration, everything, it's just a lot of fun, I hope to see you there very much, uh, yeah, I really appreciate everyone just tuning in there, it's it's great just hanging out, chatting with you guys, there's also a voice chat so that we can chat together and all that stuff, but anyway, uh, let me finish this, meet you in first person and walk along the houses. Alright guys, we are now in first person, walking along the beautiful streets of Clipstead, I'm spending a lot of time just adding small details to the streets to make them look look super nice and realistic so i hope that everything looks fine now and this is the first build we did which is like this fruit and vegetable uh seller so he has like this small booth in the front selling off some onions carrots melons and stuff like that um i think it's suiting that it's in the front of the town here or just by the main uh, first gate here so that um the the traders coming in with them can just kind of drop them off right here. You don't have to ride all the way through the town, which is kind of neat. We can go in here. Uh, there's small another small booth where it has some more things on the inside. Because I guess in winter times, you wouldn't be standing out here selling stuff. So there's like this inside section as well. Uh, and a kitchen in the back with some jars. I love that model right here. Um, selling some stuff with a fireplace, heating up some meat for himself and his family, I guess. Uh, and also a way to get on the back here where he has... I'm gonna just run straight into the next building here. I haven't really seen it from this perspective yet. Um, uh, just some crates for storage and clothes and things like that. Gets the job done. Um, and of course some firewood stored up here underneath uh, the staircase here. Going up here we have some beds. Two beds for the children of the family, a small seating area, and then uh, the main double bed for the parents, possibly a small baby or something like that, they would sleep here. Uh, and the interior up here is very simple, and I imagine that the guy here wouldn't be earning that well. He wasn't that super wealthy, that's why the interior is a little bit plain, um, compared to like some of the, the jeweler and stuff like that, the carpenter and stuff, I think they would earn a lot more. Uh, here we have a leather worker. You can see that by the sign up there. Uh, so you can go in here and he has like this small desk where you can order stuff. Uh, if you want new boots and a new leather armor and stuff like that. I really love this new texture here. It looks super cool like this pile of leather thing. 
Um, and then he has like, this workshop area where he kind of um, drags and shapes the letter into whatever you need on this anvil here and then some storage. And then also this, it's supposed to be a tanning rack, but I just kind of pretended that it's ladder being stretched out so that you can kind of cut in it and shape it however you want. And then in the back we have a small kitchen area uh, and small storage for food like that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Yes, that's kind of the first floor. I can go out here, there's another entrance or exit uh, on the back here of the build. And then you can go up the staircase here on the outside which is very nice and adds a lot of atmosphere to the streets here. Uh, walk up here uh, and then get into the, like the second floor where the, the children and the parents are sleeping like that uh, There's also a small table and things like that Kind of the main residential area of the build I guess uh, it looks kind of nice uh, Nothing too much on the back here is kind of like this shared part with this building right here But they have some some barrels and crates and stuff um, Yes, I'm, I'm kind of getting lost here. Uh, it really just the streets here are so immersive, I really like that. Uh, we also added a small tree here, which I really like. Uh, we can go into this building. I'm taking them in the chron chronological order of which I built them. So this is the stonemason. So uh, the whole downstairs is pretty much just residential and also for the upstairs. Uh, so a nice big fireplace, some sitting areas and a small kitchen right here to prepare some food and stuff. Of course you use a fireplace to to, to uh, cook stuff. Um, so this is kind of just like a small, almost feels like a small cave and I really like how that turned out. Uh, yeah, basically it is a very simple thing down here. And then some storage in the back here, possibly some notes and orders for the stonemason to make. Uh, up here we have a bunk bed for the children and then a bigger um, area for the parents. I think I had a painting here once. I think it's gone, maybe. Um, is all paintings gone? I haven't seen any paintings yet. Maybe the paintings are gone. It looks like the paintings are gone for some reason. Why, why is that? That's really weird. It looks like all the paintings are gone. I haven't seen any paintings yet. And I'm pretty sure I added paintings here. Anyway, um, you can go out here in the back. Uh, where the stonemason has his working area kind of so you can see there's like this pile of stones uh, From a quarry somewhere and then it's kind of shaping them into like pillars and also this Gargoyle here, which is kind of nice and then some smaller things around here You can kind of just chisel them up like that Small workout area or working area, and then you also have some tools staying right here and I think it looks kind of nice. Uh, there's also like some chopped off bits of stone here on the ground and then a chisel to kind of shape them with. And then he also has a small private garden to just get a little bit extra food. So I think that looks kind of nice. I like that. Uh, you can also go to uh, the backyard from like the main street here. You don't have to walk all the way through the building, which is kind of convenient uh, whenever you are kind of ordering something and bringing in stones. It would be really hard to bring stones through the house. So uh, you can just bring it right here. And then we have uh, the blacksmith again, or the second blacksmith, or third, I'm, I can't remember. Uh, so we have this area here. This new table texture is beautiful. Um, a big oven here to, to heat up the metal, and then an anvil to hammer it on. Some tools hanging here, and then this big bellow to, to heat up everything. Apart from that, we have a grinding stone. Some coal to heat up the oven, and some iron stored here to, to work with. Um, so you kind of do everything that it needs. Also on the outside there is firewood stored up to, to heat up the fireplace, the oven. And go up here. This here will be alongside the other building here. So there's no rail on this side, but I should just do the job whenever the next building is up. Um, you can go in here, we have a uh, kitchen upstairs uh, and the new bench design which is beautiful. Um, with a small table here and then a pretty decent kitchen. And in here we have just a double bed for the whole family. That's not unusual that medieval families just had one big bed for everyone. Uh, so I kind of, yeah, I've done that with several builds in Clipses so far. That is pretty much all for today's episode. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, 
make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe and it's been Vigo man and i'll out and i will see all of you later